Assume coloration. Man, it's a lot of little stuff that goes into like doing things and making certain things that people have no idea. Yeah, we did, um, cause I asked him, I'm like, yo, are we gonna do like, legs or arms? <laughs> we gonna do full body. I'm oh, like, yeah, I couldn't have been a trainer. I'm like, alright. No, we're definitely fine. Yes, nigga, you are doing <laughs> legs. Yes. I don't care if it's your first day. Yes. <laughs> I would have like, made my response. I don't want them to take it easy. Really take, it, take it too easy. Five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just learned a new trick about my camera. I just want to do a bunch so we can okay. look at them. No, I'm just thinking I'm definitely going to grab them and do the flex now too. I'm going to just do like a close shot. Kind of just something. Let's check those out. Oh. I wonder if a TV would have made sense for that. Usually they more light. Um, Let's get it as close as we can to just taking that full picture. Okay. But just gotcha. focusing on the hand. Yeah, well, we don't got to worry about the, yeah. about the size. Because gotcha. I'm going off of that same, that exact angle. So we could try to get like that full picture and then I'll just be cutting the camera out. Mm -hmm. I wonder what day we actually did this one. Because this says 1027. That's probably about right. I was going to say August. You know, my, my dates be all... It was definitely past all this. Because we were wearing them. Um, we were definitely day. wearing sweatsuits already. It was definitely... And it's football season. I'm not putting all this stuff in there. Uh, the little office. Yeah, I'm probably just going to throw everything right in there and so... I think that's it. Really good. I keep feeling like I gotta raise it a little bit. But mm -hmm. as far as the angle. I know when you did it before, you weren't using that one. I wasn't? No. That's probably what it is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I love my setup a lot. I said that's the uh, 
that's the other <laughs> the other laptop this the new one like I said I got it connected to the monitor and then we have my camera right there so when I go ahead and do those but oh uh, somebody catch up me now facts for probably a year I don't was it that long but all right so in the vlog aspect so first off um Put it like this, I already had a vlog recorded. My computer broke. So because, and I can even lift this up and show y'all, some of y'all already seen the post on my page. So my computer broke. And as y'all can see this, that bitch is broke broke. <laughs> like, <laughs> broke broke. Shit is coming off the hinges. But my main laptop broke. Gratefully, just happy to live in a financial abundance and just a, a place where I was able to go get another laptop right away. So I went and got another laptop right away, which I already wanted like a portable laptop too. So I was able to go cop that right away, which I, again, you know, that's, that's a blessing. I'm grateful to be able to do stuff like that. That ain't even phased me. My laptop broke down. Let me get up the next day. Already had my external hard drive and everything. So some of the, the difficulties that's that happen are what's been going on and i'm gonna get into the story of more of this stuff too so in terms of so shout out to my homie manta which is funny because i shouted you out in one of the videos but i don't think that video was saved because i think that's on the other laptop because you was on live when i recorded that and i was saying yeah it was about the young lady and the gentleman the nigga asked me for a rack that don't even know me and then the young lady who was mad because I wasn't going to read her book because I'm not your target audience. And it's just that's not how business works on here. And it's pretty ironic because I saw a couple other influencers that made a post um, earlier that got mad. So to answer your question in terms of creators, content, creating content, having that type of block. No, because what I learned and Gary V is the man who actually talked about it, documentation versus content. And I talk about this in my self-publishing class. It gets into it in the self-publishing book as well. You know, let me just put this over here. So, like, everything is so much easier for me. <laughs> so, I can just hold this up and everything's easy. But um, in terms of the content aspect, again, learning documentation versus content. So, I know I'm in a different field than you. So, for me, what I literally do is just turn the camera on and I could just record myself working and post that. And let people know, yo, this is what I'm working on. This is what I'm doing. One of my, a word, then yeah, you've seen a, a lot of his marketing tactics then. One of the things that I started doing more, which has worked very well for me, was these meme videos. As you guys have been seeing, a black background, I have the words in white, having my at name on there. That's been doing very well for me. And I have a black, white, black theme for my page now, white, black, white. So that's been great for me. That's been working really well for me. But the main thing for me is, it's more so been documenting the things that's happening, documenting what's been going on. And again, the reason why I'm even doing this vlog, this vlog was to show the whole behind the scenes and the whole process of the making of the book along with the album to be able to give people the whole insight on it so they can see what this process is really like, but on a greater level. So that's been great in terms of, like I said, the episode I've recorded that is in the laptop. What that episode was is actually me talking about the complications and the struggles. So thankfully and grateful for you asking that because, no, I didn't really have the content creators block, but I was stuck. And as you and me talked about before, damn, how do I draw people into this? Because I want to focus more on this now. So that was a struggle. It was a struggle trying to figure out what is going to not just capture people's attention, but as you know, we talked about closing people. Getting people to sign up, pay that subscription, buy the book, invest into this product, this service. So I made a video before where I said, the, and I tweeted, I think, too. I made a video. It was like, yo, the most difficult part about the business that I do is I have to try to convince somebody. Or it's like I have to persuade someone to persuade themselves or convince somebody to have trust or faith in themselves enough to make the investment into something. It's like I have to, yeah, I have to try to convince them to see the value of themselves. I have to convince them to be confident in themselves to make the investment into something to help them be more confident in themselves. That's the irony with my products. It's like I gotta try to convince somebody to be confident enough in themselves 
to make the investment to the product to to help them have confidence because that's what the product is for so that's definitely been a difficulty another obstacle that popped up other than like i said the laptop breaking my engineer his hard drive broke so i should have just did it because i had it in my head i think i asked him the day before his hard drive broke yo can we save the stems on my on my hard drive and he was like yo we just gotta do it tomorrow so it's like all right we're and then damn his hard drive ended up breaking so now i do have all the I do have all the tracks, which is great. I do have all the tracks, all the sessions that we did. I have the MP3 files. So I do, the project is good enough that I can upload it whenever. But I paid to get it mixed and mastered because it's, and I needed to be at its best. I wanted to be at the highest quality of possi as possible. So that was that. Another obstacle that came up, I'll talk about it before. I almost missed my flight getting to Atlanta happily. I still made it down there. I missed my train. And then from my train, I had to take a 35, 40 minute Uber, which was like a $70 I wasn't expecting to put out to get to the airport. And then once I got to Atlanta, uh, my man's let me know that he wasn't able to come get me. So then I had to take the Uber. That was like another $30. So just the trip alone was $100 unexpectedly just like that. So that was an obstacle to deal with the the consistency aspect you know still trying to figure out what am i going to talk about on this next vlog what is this vlog going to be about so that's definitely been something that i will definitely not say that it was not something that was difficult to deal with because it's it's pretty much me just going and everyone following my lead so shout out to everybody that's been a part of the projects that's been helping me so you know, I've been, I'm, it's my project. At the end of the day, it is my project. So everything is coming through me and <laughs> facts. That's my homies. I'm all, I feel like I'm already like a part of her support system. Um, we definitely got a lot more closer since you've been back. After you took that hiatus, I feel like these last, like this last week, we definitely <laughs> got closer definitely been more support and even more energy sent each other's way i guess because we started building even more on the business sense but yeah that was the hard drive situation i'm trying to think what else has been something that uh, obstacle my so i have an animated video that's being made and vlog the second vlog and my second vlog well episode two i did go i did show the scene with the animated video so I that's that's almost finished. He said it would be done by Saturday. That was gonna be done like two like two three weeks ago, but he had got COVID, so that was a setback because he got COVID. I had got COVID in November, but we didn't start filming or anything at the time yet. It wasn't until after I was cool from COVID. Then that's when we all of December and January was when we was really doing everything. I'm trying to think what were some other obstacles. The snow itself. I do have a special episode that was supposed to be this week. These last, last week, yeah, it's fire. Last week and this week has been, I was supposed to have three vlogs that we would have recorded that were going to be dropping these, these weeks, within these weeks. But again, because the, the hard drive and then the snow, so I wasn't able to record the one vlog with my mentor who was going to pull up so we could do that. Wasn't able to do that. So now we rescheduled that for the 28th, I want to say. We rescheduled that for the 28th. But even with that, the uh, 26th, I'm going back on TV. The 26th, I'm going back on TV. They loved the first interview, and they wanted me to come back to do a second segment and go for a full hour this time. So I'm going back to that, the 25th or 26th, whatever that Friday is, the last Friday of the month. And that Sunday is when I'm recording that video with with my mentor and that's going to be a one-on-one face-to-face -on -one -face interview where it's going to be just i don't want to say like a r kelly and gail interview but it's that kind of setup you know this face-to-face -face kind of thing and we're going to talk about let's really get into who you are this book this project and everything but get into the again the book is called write my pains away get into the pain aspect of it so it's really it's it's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be, I mean, I'm already an open, a open book and a vulnerable person, I'll say. So 
it's going to be really, really fun to do that because there's going to be a lot of questions that people have considered or asked me before and things that I know I just want to address in general from certain misconceptions of me. And it's just fun. It's just mad fun. I've been able to really, really release all my sacral energy, we'll say, all my creative energy I've been able to do with this project from, I'll say, producing, producing a and r -ing, the actual tracks, finding music, the speaking aspect with the track, the writing aspect, the vlog, well, the, I guess the vlogs itself would be the production aspect, the directing, just putting everything together, man, it's been, a, it's been, it's a lot, it's been a lot of work, definitely, I have a podcast that's coming, so, again, my subscription page is 777, and what that subscription does, it puts, it gives you access to the monthly workshops, the weekly consultations. Those workshops are going to become weekly. I want it in April for sure. Now, maybe not the first week, but in April for sure is going to be those weekly, weekly workshops, which is going to be great. Yeah, the weekly consultations. It comes with the next 80 people that sign up. I still, I think I still got 80 to go. The next 80 people that sign up is going to get the ebook of the complete text. They get a they get a a, a sub chapter. I'm sorry, a chapter to read out of out of the new book. It's the basketball chapter. Plus, they get a listen to the early roughs. So the first round of the roughs that we did for the album. Od, Od, been working, working, taking flights, driving places, still doing my door dashes during the day because that's a bulk of my income too. So it's been a lot of work, consultations. The self-publishing class, taking on different projects, websites, maybe somebody's covered, things like that. So it's been great. It's been great. No complaints at all. Like I said, it's just, it's really, the main thing for me has been rolling with the punches. I've really just been rolling with the punches, knowing that certain obstacles, obstacles happen. Obstacles happen. The next track, and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to put it at the end of this video like I do all the other vlogs. Like I said, I got to try to get a program real quick and see what I could do tonight. But happily doing this, hell, this is me working with being on live. This is me working. This is part of my work. I like to end my nights going on live. At one point, this is how I was making all my sales, by being able to talk to people on live. And then as a public speaker, people was tapping in, hearing me. And then I was getting booked from that. And then, you know, the consultations and everything. So the next track, though, is a validation. The next track is validation. Simple as put, uh, we all, whether we want to admit it, we all seek and look for certain validation in our life, whether it's coming from teachers, coaches, peers, whomever it is. You know, we look for this certain validation, especially when you do business, you in this world of people pleasing. So for me, what is, for me, what's important is to be able to and what I did with the track is just sharing these aspects of myself and just sharing the fact that I know for a fact I was somebody that was such a people pleaser. I was looking for this validation, feeling like I got to satisfy what everybody was expecting to see of me, whether it was me or not. Just felt like I had to uphold this certain character. So I get in, I get into detail with that track validation. So super, super, super happy. Again, we only got like, I got it on my white erase board, I think. After this one, five more episodes. What's today? Today's the ninth. Oh, let me click the calendar. We got, yeah, our today's, yeah, the ninth as I'm recording this. One, two, five weeks away. Five weeks away. Like I said, the book itself was released in March 10th. And the, the 19th, next Friday, the 19th is when I will be officially starting pre orders. You'll be able to purchase the ebook. And then in terms of the physical book, again, I'm doing a bundle and that hasn't been fully released everybody. But again, that's what the outbook is for 5555 is going to be the hard copy of the book, the hard copy of the book, the collector's item in terms of a physical CD. They're also going to get the download link so that you can download the deluxe version of the outbook and a poster. So for 5555, you get the poster, the collectible CD, because that's what I peep. I peep that. Uh, CDs is now about to be in that place of how this certain generation looks at and has looked at vinyls. So CDs about to be that next collector's thing. So I'm telling y'all right now, if you could find a reasonable doubt, a miseducation of Lauren Hill, 
if you could find it was written any type of classic album and find that CD right now and the vinyl I'm telling you within the next few years it's going to be bread for you so like I, I mean I'm here to that's what I'm here to do with this with this album this album is going to be something that's going to be worth a lot of money it's going to be an exclusive bundle I'm only doing 60 of them I might do another round later but I'm only doing 60 of them so again if I'm able to play the track here's validation you're going to be able to hear those first 15 seconds of that if not Stay tuned. I'm going to get my computer fixed next week. We'll be able to get back to the regular looking vlogs. If this is not, you know, up to par with what I usually do, then stay tuned for next episode. It's going to be worth a lot, huh? Facts. It's going to be worth something crazy. It's going to be worth something crazy, and I'm excited for it. Something I definitely struggled with growing up was validation. And I found myself always seeking this validation, whether it was peers, my parents, my coaches, maybe it was a scout, a teacher. I just always felt like I had to do what I felt like somebody else wanted to see of me. Like I had these expectations.